Curious to know how we get the absolute most out of the backseat area of our truck cab? Sit back and relax while we show you. First things first, the back seat has got to go. In our previous rigs, we've tried a variety of backseat storage builds, including a simple platform, a 40% seat delete with custom built shelving, and now this 100% seat delete with our most elaborate storage system yet. Now, if you plan on trying this at home, just know that removing the seat can be a physically demanding endeavor that is not for the faint of heart. Once you finally manage to remove all of the bolts holding the seat in place, you can then remove the seat. You have to lift it straight up as there are components on the seat that are hooked into the back wall of the cab, which you have to lift up and over. So now, the back seat has been removed, as well as the seat belts and car seat tie downs. Mike reinstalled the bolts in the pre existing holes on the floor. But for the car seat mounting points, he left the bolts out as the holes don't go all the way through to the outside. The next step is to install two boards along the sides and bolt them in using the same bolts that had attached the seat to the floor. These will serve as mounting points for our temporary platform while we build out our permanent solution. Now that we're back at Miller Outfitters, aka Mike's parents' house, Mike is putting his dad to work on helping design and build our full storage system. Our goal is to get the most that we possibly can out of the space, to maximize our storage space and create comfortable areas for Walker and Granger to ride in on long drives. Now that all of the individual pieces are prepped, it's time to assemble them in the truck cab. This process is something like completing an oversized three-dimensional puzzle. Finally, everything is in its proper place. Here on the driver's side, we have a platform for Granger designed to fit her travel bed, a center cabinet with deep storage boxes and a carpeted platform on top where we keep various things like our Goal Zero Yeti 500X that always stays in the truck cab and food and water bowls for the pets while we're traveling. There's also space for additional storage under Granger's platform, as well as a somewhat hidden storage cubby that takes advantage of the truck's built-in storage space. Moving on to the passenger side, there's a bit more going on over here. 
Starting from the top, there's a large carpeted platform where Walker likes to hang out sometimes. Then we have two large padded drawers for our camera gear. We used Pelican's Trek Pack case divider kit to section off the spaces in the top drawer. And in the bottom drawer, Mike cut out specific spots in a sheet of foam to keep everything in place and protected. Below the drawers, we have space to fit two removable front runner wolf pack crates. And like the other side, we made sure to create an access door for the existing storage space in the floor of the truck. Of course we had to make sure Walker had his own designated hideout, or catpartment as we call it. And we have the same storage underneath the platform on this side as well. And that, folks, is about it.